Hello everyone, Bridget Ayer here with All About the Grace. I took a couple weeks off. I was uh, on a camping vacation off the grid uh, up in the very top of Michigan and it was wonderful, but I'm back and I have a great topic for today. It's something that uh, I've kind of been in a full parent mode as you uh, get your kids back to school and all my three kids are actually back at school. Uh, I sent one off to college uh, recently and and I have two in high school. So uh, I'm always looking um, for ways to pass on the faith to them and I heard a great interview. I listened to Catholic Radio Indy. There's a show that I listen to frequently called More to Life. It's uh, Dr. Gregory Popcheck and his wife Lisa who host, uh, co-host that show and he has lots of very interesting guests and the topic that they had recently was how to raise joyful kids so in listening to that i picked up a couple tips that i would like to pass on with you so that's the topic for today how to raise joyful kids and some of these uh points are from the interview that i heard and some are points that i just um have found to be helpful i think in my um in my parenting. So the first tip on raising joyful kids is to practice gratitude. So how do you do that? Well, I think showing the things that you are thankful for just in your everyday life. Um, so not always complaining about different things or problems, but talking about the things that you're actually grateful for. And one way to kind of implement that, you can obviously implement that just in your daily life, in your conversations with your kids. But um, something that we've done at dinner time is to go around the table and talk about um, what we're grateful for. You know, um, maybe highs and lows of that particular day and then what we're grateful for. So that's okay, the second tip is to it to raising joyful kids is to to have fun with your kids um, be together doing nothing um, or be together doing something fun something that's just relaxing where you're not um, where you're just having a good time you know playing cards playing games and we try to do that as a family every day we try to do something fun after dinner usually a couple hours after dinner or maybe directly after dinner we'll watch um, like a funny cartoon comedy together one of the things that we like to watch is Phineas and Ferb which is kind of an older um, Disney show uh, we really like that it's got a lot of great comedy in there and really good writing um, and you know we play ping pong and we do all, all sorts of other things so that's one thing that I think that um, was on this program that I thought was really valuable. Uh, number three, uh, the guy that was on this show, his name is Dr. Joseph White. Um, he is the director of catechesis, a PhD, and he's also um, a psychologist too, I believe. And so he was talking about allowing your kids to feel their feelings you know rather than just saying you know if they're if they're thinking about something and worrying about something rather than saying oh it'll be okay which you know it probably will be okay uh, allow them to kind of pause and think about usually when people are worried about something it's something that's in the future and kind of to help them bring them back to the present moment so he was talking about having people allowing your kids to feel their feelings and say you know help them kind of think through that a little bit but then also kind of bring them back to the present moment um and and in that so i might be worried about this future event what can i do right now to be in the present moment and to maybe even address that thing that um that they're worried about like maybe it's a test that they have coming up or an appointment or something but allow them to 
feel those feelings rather than just say, oh, it'll be okay and kind of dismiss those. Allow them to feel their feelings and kind of bring them back to the present moment. Like, well, what can I do now um, to address that? And then um, the other thing that, that uh, number four is to be available. A lot of um, parents just, I mean, we're all so busy and trying to allow time where you're available. Like one thing I remember that my, my, um, my parents did that I didn't really think about it at the time, but I've thought about it since, is that, you know, my mom would just maybe be out knitting or something in the, you know, living room or something like that. And although she was kind of doing something, she was really available, you know? And so just being more available to your kids because they may want to talk at the strangest times, you know, like when you're completely exhausted. But I think being available really helps them to, you know, when they have questions or, or they do want to talk about something, that to just make yourself available. And I think that really helps them be joyful. For more tips on this topic, uh, there is a website called Sharing catholicfaith.com sharingcatholicfaith.com um, for more tips and Dr. Joseph White is um, the person who was interviewed that I heard on uh, the show More to Life um, I really want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel or my blog uh, my channel is here uh, all about the grace just click subscribe and then also if you want to subscribe to my blog that is www.allaboutthegrace.com and really I try to um, not only talk about faith culture and media awareness, but I also try to provide inspiring content which will encourage you in your Catholic faith. And that's really what I want to be doing on this channel. I hope that was helpful. Um, great to be back and God bless. See you soon.